Rise and shine, Rhonda. It's Tuesday, the 19th of May. Coming up on today's Rise and Shine Randa. No more boarding sections for primary school students. We find out the reason, government's decision. We'll learn about a business that is promoting sexual education for the youth. And we attend an event that brought regional fashion to Kigali. Good morning, it's just after 7 o'clock in the morning and you're watching Rise and Shine Randa with me, Regis Isheja. And me, Makeda Mahario. Over the next hour, we'll be bringing you the latest news, business and sports headlines from here in Randa and around the world. And of course, the Rise and Shine team are here with us in studio. Fidelis, tell me what is going on in the world of business. Well, in business, we get to learn about an electronic platform, basically someone's business, who's using this platform to help the youth, you know, learn a bit more about sexual education, something that's really important at this time and age for, you know, most youth. All right, and in the world of sports, Arnold? French Open's around the corner. We look at results from the Italian Open, and there's the big one. The NBA Finals are here. Regis will have something to say about that. And our, our resident... NBA analyst uh, Alistair is also in the house. Right, I can okay, wait for I think, that. I think I'll have to join that, that chat today. I think, I think I have some opinions about the, really? what is it, the play, playoffs? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. That, that was your opinion. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, well, all that and more is still to come, but first, Rise and Shine, story of the day. The government of Rwanda has given the 34 primary schools with boarding sections in the country three years to close them with exception given to special needs pupils. A way to give parents the possibility to foster their own children as close as possible until they're old enough to be away from their guidance. Take a look. Going forward, boarding in primary school is not allowed and schools that already have boarding sections have a period of three years to close them. By doing that, the government wants children to grow up in families and most importantly, with their parents. Uri amanzuro kuri jewe waranatinze kubaho kuko kuva kera numvaga aba ababyeyi bajyana abana ibugande bajyana abana mu bihugu duturanye bafitiri ya systeme ariko giye nkumva ntabwo njakira kubera yuko uko mbibona nk'umuntu maze igihe kinini mu burezi igihe cy'abana biga cyane cyane muri primaire kibari igihe umwana afite ibibazo byinshi abaza aba Abankadrele bamwe gereye cyane cyane nk'ababyeyi be banyira senge inshuti n'abavandimwe cyane cyane urebye nk'ibyo twigisha nko mu wa mbere mu wa kabiri tuba tugerageza kubereka imiryango ya ya bugufi imiryango itandukanye umwana akamenya ko agira ababyara akagira base wabo akagira banyira kuru ibyo byose umwana wagomba kubimenya while many emphasize the principle of a child being raised by parents some have advocated that boarding schools are a way to learn about life away from the home's comfort. An opinion the government doesn't share by stating that parents should know that it's their primary responsibility to raise their children. Yatuye mu rugo umuryango usurwa na benshi ugasanga abanyirarume baraje ugasanga abanyirasenge baraje ugasanga ba sekuru banyirakuru babyarabe icyo giha kiyumva yuko ari mu muryango kandi akabona ibihamya bifatika akabona mbese ingero nyinshi now what do primary school pupils think of the decision and from what age do they think a child should be allowed to go to boarding school haya juri ya 14 kuberiki ku mwana wa 14 abakuze mu mutwe kandi ntaga bari wa mwana nyine
ariko ari muri interina ntago ibyo yifuza cyangwa ikintu cyamubaho ntago yisanzura ku bantu muri interina nkuko yisanzura ku bajeyi bakagombye kuba ubundi bari mu rugo biga bataha mu rugo bari kumwe n'ababyeyi babo kuko ba iyo bari kumwe n'ababyeyi babo kenshi bumva imanuro nyinshi kandi iyo bari kumwe n'ababyeyi babo hari giye bagira ibihe byiza ariko mu mu mashuri babamo hari giye wenda n'umwana ashobora kugira ikibazo wenda bigatinda kukugeraho kandi iyo mubana hari giye iyo kibaye witubimenye Let's see what happens in the next three years as the debate goes on. Regis Sheja, Rise and Shine Randa. And joining us in studio now is Narcisse Kwajirumukiza, school principal at Ecole Primaire SOS Kigali. Wara mutse merci. Wara mutse wara mutse. Jira nele chitubgira ba ubwambere cyumva ko bishoboka yuko um, za internet bazikuraho kubana bakiri mu mashuri abanze byarakunejeje umvaga ari ibintu bikubangamiye umvaga byifashe bite giye mu bisanzwe ikintu cya internet kubana batoya kubikura mu byari bisanzwe nka systeme yari hari numvise ari ibintu byiza cyane kubera ko mu bisanzwe umwana kugira ngo yidevelope mu buryo bufatika uh, agomba kugira icyo bita security affective icyo kintu yo kibuze rwa rukundo abonera mu muryango no kwidevelopa kwe cyangwa se n'imibereho ye ishobora kugira ibibazo mu buryo bya bwa equilibre kuberako muri ya myaka umwana yinjira mu ishuri cyane cyane nko muri primaire akinjira mu hambere cyangwa mu kabiri ni imyaka umwana aba ashaka kumva yuko akeneke kwisanzura akenshi umwana yinjira aho ngaho akaza afite ibibazo byinshi yifuza yuko yabaza abantu bakagira icyo bayimubwiraho hanyuma iyo bigenze bityo akisanga ari mu bana bagenzi be atabona umuntu yikonfi aho ngo abimubwire akenshi agendera mu kigare cyaba abana bari muri groupe ye ugasanga ibyo bitekerezo nibyo agiye kugenderaho mu gihe yaba kaba ari kumwe nababyeyi be ibyo bitekerezo yakabibahaye noneho bo bakamu bakagerageza ku mugida ku mugida ese kubari kubari hanze kubari hanze bavuga bati ariko burya interna ira forma ituma umuntu amenye ubuzima bwo hanze ituma umuntu ituma umuntu nakura n'imburagi kuri abo bantu babwira iki icyo nibaza kuvuga ngo interna ira forma hariho abo iforma mu buryo intellectuel ariko mu buryo bwa bw'ubumuntu bwo kumva yuko uh, umwana ari mu muryango afite uh, zamuhwe afite bwa burere akura mu muryango afite cyagishikagira abari umuntu abe cyangwa bakuru be gakenshi usanga nta cyafite narcis umaze igihe kitari gito mu kwigisha mu education en general ese wowe iyo urebye abana dufite hano mu Rwanda harimo benshi bimfubye harimo benshi badafite hepfu na ruguru bavuga bati ese ndu wande ese nkabo ngabo bafite abantu babafasha bakabakurikira nabo ngabo bagombye gusigara mu rugo bakira abana bafite imyaka 9 10 11 cyangwa se bo bagombye kujya mu mante mu bisanzwe interna ike muri kiba ibibazo bike yukurikije development y'umwana cyangwa se ahazaza he natwe tukunze gukora mu bigo duhura nabo bana kenshi usanga abo bana kubera yuko ya developer ikintu cyo kuba muri institution usanga kenshi aba muri cyakindi cyaworere harumanya wo kurya harumanya wo kuryama harumanya wo gukora etude harumanya no kuvuga ngo umwana ntagira umwanya wo kwiyepanisa kenshi ugasanga bya bibaza afite byakagombye gukemurirwa mu muryango akegera nka saka mubwira ati ibi ni byiza ibi ni bibi biri aba wumva muri groupe abana bakubwiye agera ngo agerageze kubifiltra bimwe abirojeta mubwira ati ibi ni bibi waguma ni byiza iyo occasion ntayagira kuberako wa mu wa mureziwe cyane cyane ndavuga mu bigo bya boarding school 
usanga umurezi afite abana nka 50 meme jana bari mu kigo areberera nuko bango umwana ntagira umwanya wo kugira ngo ibimukorerwa nk'iyo horere baba bamupangiye ngo agire icyayivugaho noneho bagendire kubitekerezo bye kugira ngo iyo horere nawe ayiyumvemo nasis leta y'u Rwanda guverinoma y'u Rwanda yahaye ibigo bigifite ama internet ya primaire byabahaye imyaka itatu kugira ngo babe bafunze ibyo bigo abantu basubira iwabo mu ngo zabo ese ikibazo nyene nibaza mu mwana uri mu wakane cyangwa mu wagatano primaire usigaje mu mwaka umwe cyangwa ibiri ngarangize ishuri primaire ese ubwo azahita vamo aja aja muri internet ageze muri secondaire bizagenda bita okay ibintu byerekeranye na internet eh nkabo bana bari mu wakane cyangwa mu wagatano ubundi muri rusange ibyiza byakagombye kuba bari mu miryango wabo ariko kandi niba baratangiye ya system yo kuba muri internet nabyo ntari bari rarenga ntari bari rarenga kuri bamwe kuko development y'umuntu ni unique hari ho umwana ubusanga yatenya maturite mu gihe runaka hari ho nabatinda kwa tenya maturite kuburyo usanga niyo yagira yabafite imyaka 12 13 Chumini, chumini ashobora kwiyintegra facilement akaba atakiri très moutonnier ariko hariho na bamwe baba bashaka kugendera muri bya bindi bamenyere bya bya institution akumva ko mbese no kuvuga ngo aba a développer ya morale de contrainte no kuvuga ngo icyo ba icyo bamubwiye nicyo akora Narcis tuganira nabaganza nabandi bana twaganirire nabo ugenda uh, wumva bakubwira bati kuri ngewe umwana wagombye kujya muri internet ya bafite imyaka nka 14 ka 14 nemba numva ari ari umwana ukuze mu bitekerezo uzibyarimo ese wowe umva ari kuye imyaka umwana bamwemerera kwinjira mu internet okay je uko mbyumva uh, ni nabyo bya bindi muri famiye nubundi iyo uri muri famiye wawe ufite uko uyo organiza ukurikije imibereho bya bindi nakubwiye byo kubaza abana ibitekerezo byabo bakagira icyo bayikubwiye nk'ibitekerezo noneho ahari bigaherwa ho simvuze ngo ijana kwijana ariko uko yabye exprimer konse burya kuri we hari icyo biba bimufitiwe nka gaciro ugerageza kuvanga ibyamubera byiza byawe ugafata nibye noneho ukabasha kugira ngo umu umufashe nawe kwiyumva mu, mu, mu bitekerezo byamufatiwe hanyuma rero kuvuga ngo umwana yajya muri internet mu myaka ingahe imyaka ubundi uh, ifatiye muri development y'umwana ubundi no mu kwizera kunyuranye hariho nabanyamadini na, na bavuga bati umwana ntakwiye kubatizwa munsi y'imyaka 12 ni ukuvuga munsi y'imyaka 12 umwana abatari atarabaka capable yo kwifatira ikemezo ariko noneho nyuma y'imyaka 12 muri rusange niko navuze ashobora kujya muri internet kuko nta bakiri mu mutonye cyane ariko kandi hariho bivana n'umwana hashobora kuba hari umwana muri iyo myaka 12 ubona aki agihuzagurika akigendera kubyabandi adashobora kwitekereza ngo tange igitekerezo cyangwa agira umurongo ya gendera narcis turagushimira turagushimira cyane kuba witabiriye ubutumire bwacu kandi nizere ko atari ubwanyu murakoze cyane murakoze cyane you're watching rise in china and we'll be right back after the break here is to traveling and saving starting 1st of april to the 1st of june travel with randa and take advantage of our reduced fares and enjoy our world class services in great comfort and safety fly our dream to the heart of africa
Welcome back to Rise in China, Rwanda. Business news now as I call it the money. Fidelis Karangwa has the details. Business stories making her last day. Companies and media houses have been urged to embrace visualized data in reporting news. Speaking at the Data Visualization and Infographics Design Training Workshop that attracted journalists, statisticians and design designers among others, experts say this will offer shareholders a more detailed view of firms' performances and ease understanding of the subject matters among readers. They also added that it will help firms to cut down on advertising expenses. And countries in East and Central Africa plan to use $390 million from the African Development Bank and other donors to build high-voltage cross-border electricity transmission lines. The lines are expected to interconnect electri electricity grids in the Nile Equatorial Lakes countries with Kenya linking Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi and the De Democratic Republic of Congo once the grids are completed. This will contribute to improved socioeconomic development as all interconnected Nile Equatorial Lakes countries will benefit from reliable and affordable power delivered to customers. In February 2013, the nation was shocked to learn that 26 schoolgirls at the Group Scolaire d'Ancilla in Wamagana district had been found pregnant. Since then, more efforts have been put in place by the Rwanda Education Board to ed encourage sexual education in schools and even in households all over the country. Today, we get to learn about an initiative that is doing just that, giving the youth a platform to express their thoughts on sexual issues. Take a look. During the pre-colonial years and years after that, sexual education was taught by an auntie or mother and considered a taboo to talk about than anyone else. Fast forward to 2015, more people are open to this idea and some are even setting up businesses that help their youth to understand sexual matters better. This initiative will give students a hotline to call and ask any question on sexual education or reproductive growth and have a team of doctors answer their questions. But why do it on the phone as opposed to meeting the students live? Dr. Theodomir explains. However, it being a business, it is important for them to make money through this initiative in order to sustain it. And from advertising to selling their content to researchers, the founders are hopeful that they'll be able to employ a large number of people and grow their business as well. Uburyo bwacu duteganya no kuvuga ngo duruha ibigo byamamaza umwanya kuko cyane cyane ibifite ibitekereza ko abakiriya babo ari urubyiruko tubihereza urubuga rwo kwamamariza uje wumva bavuga ngo cyangwa se nawe uhamagara mu kigo runaka kituma na hawa mu Rwanda wajya kumva kumva ari bara gukenera umuziki w'umwe muri bana bahanze bacu dukunda twari baje se uri amwanya kuki tutahereza umuntu ushaka kwamamaza produire runaka Akaba ubundi buryo tuzi neza ko hari abantu benshi bakenera data cyangwa done zijyanye n'imitekerereze y'abantu urugero rugiye gukora iteganya nyigisho 
urebye ibirungo sintekereza ko abantu bigeze babona ibitekerezo by'abana ngo bavuge ngo se abana ubundi bashaka kwiga iki twebwe nk'abantu bakuru tumeze ngo twaratekereje tukavuga ngo umwana akwiriye kwiga ibintu bibintu bibintu ariko umunsi tuzaba tumaze igihe runaka dukora twarabonye ibibazo abana bakunda kwibaza ku bijyanye n'ubuzima bwa bw'imyororokere bizoroha cyane ko umuntu ashora kuvuga ngo twafata izo done tukajya tuzugurisha n'abantu bumva ko while schools should do everything necessary to discourage students from indulging in responsible sexual relationships, it is good to know that students now have a platform to express their concerns and get knowledge on sexual education. Kamwa Fidelis, Rise and Shine Rwanda. And joining us now in studio is Dr. Seba Zungu Teodomi, the founder of EANT Initiative, Murakazaneza Teomuri Shoyach. Ese no niho nkawe umuntu umuntu w'umuganga ubizobereyemo ese ubona guhera muri mu 2013 kugeza muri uno mwaka twavuze ko hari twabonye ko harimo mbese na rep dese n'izindi institutions zimo gushira imbaraga mu kwigisha sexual education mu mashuri ese ubona hari difference sigaye irimo hari improvement iri kugendiza Ah ukurikije uko ibintu byari biri hari abantu bungu bagaragaza ubushake bwo kuba bakwigisha urubyiruko ariko urubyiruko rwacu ntago twakwirengagiza ko nanone rugifite imbogamizi. Ah nkuko dukunda kubivuga burya ntago mu ishuri wahigira ngo uvuge ngo wabonye ya makuru yose ukeneye. Turabizi yuko abafatanya bikorwa ya barebu ya bari ibigondera buzima cyangwa se abandi bantu bose bari bakuru byiruko bashyiramo imbaraga ariko ntago bihagije natwe twacyakeneye gushyira mu musanzu wacu ndetse na byo bwa yego ese no no mwatangije no business abantu ntago muri ntago muri i launching officially ariko se abantu maze kugezaho idea yanyu cyane cyane nk'abantu b'urubyiruko bari kuyakira gute ese murabona ko ni munayitangiza abantu bazashishikarira kujya bahamagara unarebye igitekerezo bwacyo kivuka nuko twabonaga ko umuntu araza mu kaganira nyuma akagura ati se wa main numero yawe telefone ukayemuhereza wagera hirya ku ruhande wo kumva tangiye kuguhamagara ubwabyo byatwerekaga ko bafite ubushake bwo kuba bakoresha telefone kugira ngo babone aya makuru yego ese no no ni zi mbogamizi mukomeje guhura nazo mu gihe mukimo gutangiza ino business kugira ngo mubashe gufasha urubyiruko rwacu imbogamizi zo zirahari kandi ziracyari nyinshi ariko ntago bitubuza gukora icyambere no kuburiya abana ntago bafite ntago telefone usanga ari zabo yabo zari zabo ari zabo ubu ngubu twatwara tembere cyane kuko bizamusaba ko akoresha telefone mu bye yi bizamusaba ko akoresha telefone y'inshuti ntago ubwo afite telefone harabazifite yego ariko ntagari buri wese yifite ikindi nuko ubu tuvugana ntago guhamagara twari twagira tugira ubushobozi yuko yahamagara bikaba ari ubuntu mbese ngo twebwe tubashe kwishyura umwana amaze twihamagara iki aracyaba bizamusaba ko nubundi akomeza kwishyurira mu gihe tutaragira iyo ni imbogamizo tukibona ko ikomeje ariko tukifuza yuko abafatanya bikorwa bacu ndetse nundu dukurikiye yabona ko akwiriye gushyira uruharirwe yaba ari umubyeyi yaba ari ikigoro naka kikumva ko no mwana gikeneye kumwishyurira kugira ngo abone ubuzima abone amakuru ku buzima bw'umyororokere ngo kugira ngo dutegereze ko banza gutwara inda namara gutwara inda noneho dutangiye kuvuga ngo ariko hari cyo twakabaye twarakoze umwanya no yahuko ugira icyo akora gikora ese kuko kuko ari mu buryo bwa business nubikana ko namwe mugomba kwera amafaranga yakantu menshi bavuga ati ino initiative urebe ko ije gufasha urubyiruko yagomba kuba ari ubuntu ari nka NGO ariko se mwaba muri mo kwenda ko ari kibazo cy'amafaranga mukomeje guhura na cyane kugira ngo muteze imbere ino ino initiative ese mwaba mwaraganire wenda nibigo bya leta bishinzwe ibibazo nk'ingi kugira ngo mubone imfashanyo kugira ngo ibifashe business yanyu ubu tuvugana twavuganye n'imbo to foundation turanabashimira cyane ko bakomeje kutuba mu mugongo bakadutera imbaraga batubwira ati iki ni igitekerezo cyiza mufatanye nabandi ariko duteganya yuko tuzanaguka cyane birenza aho twavuganye nabantu bo muri ministeri y'urubyiruko gusa mu buryo bw'amafaranga byo nta ntago byari byageraho ariko bose baturi inyuma kandi baradushyigikiye no no se hari nkije wenda mwamuteganya kuzava wenda kubijyanye na sexual education mu kongera mu nizindi gahunda mu business ko wambiye kare tuganira ati ubu ngo mufite abaganga batatu bonyine aribo mukorana nabo ese uko muzagenda mukuru ko muzagenda mu nzira abandi baganga hari izindi bese educational information muzajya mu nzira muri no initiative yanyu ni igikorwa gishora kwaguka cyane cyane tureba ibijyanye na nubuzima bw'umyororo cyane ko twumva ko amakuru ajyanye no kuboneza urubyaro ni ikintu nacyo 
tuzibandaho cyane uko tugenda twaguka eh ikindi tuzakwirengagiza no kurubyiruko rwacu rukomeza kwaguka nimbo uyu munsi dufite miliyoni byiri z'urubyiruko nako bazahora gutyo urwanda rurakura n'urubyiruko rurakura twumva ko hari igihe tuzaba dufite miliyoni nyenye z'urubyiruko mu 8 10 n'ebyiri ibintu nk'ibyo bivuga ngo bakiri yabacu nabo bazaguka cyane ku buryo ari service ubwa zo zishaka kwaguka ariko tukareba ko no mubare wa bakiri yadufite uyu munsi nawo uzagenda waguka yego Okay. Donc nibyo urebye muri mo guteganya mu minsi y'imbere cyane cyane. Nibyo duseganya cyane cyane ikiri hafi dutekereza ko cyahita kijyaho ni no kubona zo rubyaro. Kuko nubwo butuvuga ngo urubyiruko ariko no mudamu uri hariya akaba atazi kubona zo rubyaro bikorwa gute ashobora guhamagara akabona amakuru. So urebye ni ni abantu bose ntagara urubyiruko gusa nundi wese afite ikibazo yahamagara akabaza. Yahamagara ari umubyeyi uvuga kuti umwana wanje yambaje ikibazo nashobora gusubiza ashobora kuduhamagara tukamubwira igisubizo hanyuma nawe akaje akaganira n'umwana akamama makuru yose ashaka. Murakoze cyane teo business yanyu ni nziza cyane kandi tukishimiye kuba twaba igize hano kuri show yacu. Turabashimiye natwe. Well, you're up to date today's business headlines. Post news coming up next in just a minute for Anna Quizera. Welcome back to Rise and Shine Rwanda. Time now for your sports news. I'm Arnold Quizera. Starting with football, playmakers Maxim Sekamana and Andrew Butera have been included in the 25-man provisional squad that is preparing to face Uganda in the CAF Under-23 Championship qualifier second round first leg tie on May the 23rd at Amahoro Stadium. Sekamana, the top scorer of the newly crowned league champions APR with six goals this season, returns to the national under-23 side for the first time since January when he featured in the one all draw against Tanzania in a friendly match in Mwanza. Butera returns to the under-23 fold, having earlier been left out alongside seven other dependable players for the first leg because the Rwanda Football Federation, Ferafa, wrongly filled in their play cards to the Confederation of African Football, CAF, as compared to what their clubs handed in during the CAF Champions League and CAF Confederations Cup earlier this year. 
Moving on to tennis, with the French Open around the corner, Maria Sharapova seems to have hit form at the right time as she claimed her third consecutive Italian Open title. The third seed overcame Carlos Suarez Navarro in three sets, winning 4-6-7-5-6-1 for her first clay title of the season. The Russian needed two and a half hours to overcome her Spanish opponent, who won the first set and forced a tiebreaker in the second. Moving on to basketball, there will be new faces in this year's National Basketball Association finals after the Houston Rockets made history to come from two games down to win their semi-final series against the Clippers. Both postseason number ones, Atlanta Hawks and Golden State Warriors, will enjoy home court advantage in the best of seven series that for the first time will have no Dwayne Wade, Kobe Bryant or Tim Duncan in 15 years. LeBron James will hope to head to his fourth consecutive final as he leads Cleveland up against the Atlanta Hawks. Joining me in studio for this chat is our resident N NBA analyst, the Staminator, <laughs> at least uh, Muhire, <laughs> and of course Regis Marvel. For yes, this, we look ahead to these finals. The conference finals. I'm not going to start with Regis because he has been very terrible with I've his been predi predictions. Wrong. It's not my year, man. <laughs> it's predictions. Not my year. At, at least as you still have been on the money, you know. Uh, He's, he's totally right. right. He's been right the entire way. Yeah, and I think it's because he tends to analyze and not with his eyes. Oh, wow. <laughs> but, okay, yeah. maybe. But, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a point. Uh, but so, I want to start with you, Alistair. These matchups, great matchups. I, I think from the beginning, these other teams we expected to be in the finals, apart from the Rockets. Uh, the Rockets having a shocker against Clippers. Chris Paul is not lucky, but Golden State Warriors versus Houston Rockets. Who has the upper hand in this series? Um, I'm still going to go with uh, the number one seeded Golden State Warriors, not only because I'm rooting for them, but um, obviously these two teams are great offensively. Uh, I think this series, a huge part is going to be uh, how their bench plays. The Houston Rockets bench showed up finally in that game six against the Clippers. Can they be consistent and, and carry that over to the finals, the Western Conference finals? That's the question that needs to be answered. Uh, but the Warriors, I still think also, sorry, coaching will be a big part of this. Um, the Mikhail had a, an incredible coaching job leaving uh, James Harden out. So, and, and I think it's going to be a, a combination of. Could, bench do, do, you play. Think, do you think Warriors, when they're on a bad run, you, when a person like Stephen Curry is shooting about three from fifteen, do you think Stephen Curry has the guts to drop him? To to, to drop who? Uh, Steve Kerr. Steve. Yeah. Oh, Steve Kerr to, to leave him out. Yeah. Um, no, I don't, and that's why I'm saying coaching is going to be a big part. I don't know. I think. If, it's, if it comes to out-coaching one another, I think Mikhail has a slight edge um, just because of the situations he's been in all season. But um, I don't think Stephen Curry is the type of guy you put out anyways just because of the firepower he has. Uh, Regis, just moving on, on to you. Houston seemed to depend on Dwight Howard and James Harden so much in this series that when James Harden wasn't showing up, they were not showing up. But then he doesn't show up in a game six and they still mm -hmm. show up. You know, uh, Dwight Howard has been the player no one wants uh, has been the player we saw at Orlando a few, year, a few years back, right. you know, getting, averaging 18 plus rebounds per game. Do you think uh, Dwight Howard's presence will be a big factor in this series against, you know, uh, Andrew Bogut uh, at Golden State? I'll be the first to say that I'm shocked that the Rockets made it this far um, yeah. into the conference finals. I mean, uh, I did not expect to see them here. Um, I expected them to play against San Antonio if they were to win against um, in, in their first round and yeah. against their opponent. And I was I was shocked. I thought Dallas was gonna beat them, to be honest. Um, so for them to be here, it's a testimony to uh, what Kevin McHale has been able to accomplish. But it's also a testimony to someone who could have easily been the MVP this year, who's yeah, James Harden. Yeah. Dwight Howard, I do not believe him, just because you never know what he's going to do night in and night out. I mean, he's on a nightly basis. You cannot come. You see, there's players in the NBA you know what they're going to give you on a regular basis. I'm not the but, biggest. But, but, but this player has been averaging 18 plus in these playoffs. That's, isn't that consistent enough? Some games he missed. Let's remember that. And then the fact that he's not, he's not the main player on this team. In Orlando, he was the go-to guy when they went yeah. to the so NBA Psychologically, that, Psycho can... exactly. that plays a factor. Yeah. Uh, when he was with the Lakers, at times when Kobe wasn't there, it was him. He was the next guy in line. But in the, in, right here, we know it's, it's um, James Harden's team. Yeah. And Dwight Howard is kind of like the defensive anchor here. He's, he's the guy that guards the paint and makes sure no one you know, dares penetrate. So I don't know how to answer your question. I just feel like 
this is a gimme for Golden State. I feel like if they're really focused and they play like the team that was number one during the entire regular season, um, there's no challenge for them. Uh, but then again, this has been some of the strangest uh, playoffs I've ever seen in my entire I, life. I think so. they've been a great, a great uh, playoff. They so have. I, yeah, we, we talked about coaching, mm -hmm. and we saw one player who didn't listen to his coach and went on to call his own play <laughs> in that game too. In LeBron James at, at Cleveland, uh, in that uh, crucial game four against the Bulls, for yeah. him to take that clutch shot. Uh, initially, it had been called for J.R. Smith, but LeBron came and stepped up and was like, this is my team. I brought you here. Let me take this shot. Mm -hmm. Now... LeBron James up against the likes of Kylie Kova. These are an Atlanta team that shares the ball. They share their wealth. Uh, uh, Jeff Teague is their leading scorer yeah. this, uh, in this uh, playoff. He is averaging only 20 points. Uh, the, the rest of the team are bringing in 17, 16, 15 points. Will Atlanta be a threat to Cleveland? Um, so on this side, on the Eastern Conference side, Atlanta, I, I would say, have a good, not great chance. Reason being is simply LeBron James. But... They are, um, on both sides of the floor, great team. They play great team offense, great team defense. They uh, kind of remind me of the 04 championship Piston team. The De Detroit Pistons. Where, yeah, where by those similar setup. four, four all-stars. All yeah. And they're yeah. not superstars, but they're all kind of guys that will chip in at, on any night if the other guy is having an off night. So in that aspect, I think they have a good chance. But let's not forget that LeBron also beat one of those Pistons teams back in the day. To, uh, um, and I by himself, he by himself. Quarter, right? So uh, I think, but if he gets the help, he, the kind of help he did in the closing out game in game six from guys like Tristan Thompson, who had a phenomenal rebounding game, Matthew Della Vadova, J.R. Smith, and all those guys. If they can kind of give him a few of those type of games and LeBron takes over, I, I still see uh, Cleveland with an, an amazing chance of going to the finals. The only thing that I'm, I'm, I'm worried, uh, Arnold, about is if he's going to run out of gas at some point because he has to shoulder so much. I'm not the biggest LeBron fan, as you know, but um, I'm also I'm capable of seeing what he accomplishes, what he does on the court on a daily basis, on a nightly basis, and Cleveland relies too much on him. It's almost kind of like how it was yeah, back in the in, day. Yeah, back, yeah, but, 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 yeah, but, I think he has a better set up all It's all. better than in 09 or 08, yeah. but it's not that much better. Yeah. And they're Meaning, still very, they're still inexperienced. Exactly. Like, it's the first time for a I, bunch I think, of I think, I think, yeah, it's the first time for a bunch of Atlanta players. Yeah. Be, apart from Kylie Kova and uh, Paul. Uh, well, 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 Durant, the, only, the, the only thing I, th I think Atlanta will struggle in this series just yeah. because they cannot keep anyone in front of LeBron. No one can, but yeah. in this case, they're an offensive team that has great defensive presence, yeah. but their, difference, their, their defense is predicated on their offense. If right. Kyle Korver is not shooting yeah. those threes, and if um, Jeff Teague is not orchestrating the way he does, because yeah. he's a poor man's Tony Parker, if you think about yes. it. Yeah. If he's not doing what he's supposed to do, then they're not doing the same thing on defense that they're used to do in the East. Like, because so, in the so, East, so, they so, don't. Regis, uh, to, to, to wrap it up from you, in the East, who do you have and in how many games? If it, it, there is, it's not going to be close. So it's either Cleveland, like, wins. One team. One team. Cleveland. Cleveland in? Five. Uh, West? Golden State. Rockets. Golden State. In. Could be a sweep. Very easily. <laughs> yeah, Very I see easy. him turning the tables. Don't support him. Right? Yeah. No, I'm just being <laughs> I'll be quick, but I agree with him. It could go either way in the East. I have Cleveland in six. Yeah. On, the, on the West side, I have Golden State. And I think Houston will be able to get uh, a win or two if, uh, if they're lucky enough. Uh, Houston, uh, both players here going, uh, both our analysts Cleveland going Golden for Cleveland State. and the United States. Golden State. State. Regis will be right back after this short break with Makeda with the latest news headlines.
Welcome back to Rise in China, Rwanda. Let's take a look now on who's making headlines here in Rwanda and around the world. The Minister of Defense, the Honorable James Kabarebe, has called for collective measures in fighting insecurity in the continent. He was speaking at a symposium on national security challenges, which brought together senior officers, uh, senior officers from East African member states and South Sudan to discuss security challenges affecting the region and provide practical solutions. The Honorable Kabarebe said if the current insecurity situation in the East African region and the Greater Horn of Africa is not dealt with, it could likely to have consequences that stretch beyond their own physical boundaries. He added that Rwanda will continue to provide support to the United Nations African Union peacekeeping mission in the continent and beyond. Rwanda Environment Management Authority has cautioned businesses in the city of Kigali against the continued use of polythene bags to package goods for their customers. This comes after the environmental body conducted a joint inspection together with Rwanda National Police and various districts of the city to assess the implementation of the ban on plastic bags. Faulted businesses were fined between 10 and 3,000 Rwandan francs in accordance 300,000 Rwandan francs in accordance with the law prohibiting the manufacture and use of polythene bags in Rwanda. Officials said exceptions have been given to the use of bags in hotels and medical facilities as they have systems to recollect them for to recollect them I'm sorry for recycling. In regional news, the United States has assisted in pulling American, Canadian and other foreign citizens out of Burundi following the crisis in the country. The U.S. aided the evacuation with the people flying out of Burundi's capital Bujumbura to neighboring Rwanda on three commercial flights. In an official statement, State Department Secretary Spokesperson Jeff Rathke said, quote, the security situation remains fluid and volatile because of militia, military and security forces activity in Bujumbura. The U.S. closed its embassy in Burundi and asked non-emergency personnel and the dependents of the employees to leave. And in international news, South Africa has deported more than 400 Mozambicans after authorities launched a nationwide operation targeting illegal immigrants in the country. Mozambique's foreign and corporation minister said his government was surprised by the move as they had expected to hold talks with South Africa to discuss the problem. A wave of xenophobic attacks last month left at least seven people dead, including one Mozambican. Officials said that the close to 4,000 people, including more than 1,000 illegal immigrants, had been arrested since the clashes began. Okay, lots more still to come. Lifestyle is up next. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Here is to traveling and saving. Starting 1st of April to the 1st of June, travel with Rwandair and take advantage of our reduced fares and enjoy our world-class services in great comfort and safety. Fly our dream to the heart of Africa.
Welcome back to Rise in China. Randa, lifestyle now. Makeda, what do you have for us? I have a very cool fashion event that happened over the weekend. Mm, okay. <laughs> fashion is a multi billion dollar industry and a big part of culture worldwide. Kigali is slowly starting to embrace the concept of Rwandan and regional fashion, with local designers beginning to make their mark abroad and more fashion events popping up throughout the year. Over the weekend, we went to one such event that saw a Ugandan company bringing its goods across the border to Kigali for a one day sale. Check it out. If you thought only rock stars and Egyptian expos went on tour, think again. Hosted by Rwandan-based men's accessory brand House of Tayo, the Ugandan-based bowl Kampala made its way to Kigali during its four-city tour to sell its unique pieces from around Africa. You may recognize this space from Alan's report on the designer Matthew Rugamba, but this time we're back for a special event. I'm welcoming bowls from Kampala and we have a pop-up one-day event. We're part of their four-city tour and we're excited to host them, have them here. We have a variety of great products. I have two women from the cooperative I work with doing customized um, designs to t-shirts, so it's gonna be a fun day. You have um, so many local Rwandans, you know, coming in, who have already come in, bought so many different products, and others who are yet to come through, but they want to, you know, try on designs from the region, from the country, so it's, it's pretty exciting and it's good for us to support one another like this. The pieces are chosen by Bolt Kampala from 35 different designers hailing from seven different countries in Africa, of course including Rwanda. Patrons were also able to purchase designs from House of Tayo, who had two of the tailors he works with in-house to make custom designs for anyone interested. <laughs> Nungen <laughs> Uko mbere na mbere ndaje nkigera hano mbona ko hari abandi barwemeza muri mu nkatwe nka mati yungo abatayeri badoda inyenda nabonye imyenda itandukanye ariko ngenda ndeba ukuntu bagiye bayidoda mbona hari ikintu kindi bongereyeho ubona bagenda bayidesigning ukuntu nange biramfasha numva ko mu bwongo bwanje mfungutse hari ikindi kintu ushobora kuzagenda nongera ku madesign tugenda dukora tunamukorera so we're shopping here at the bold event and I actually want to see what some of the shoppers and the patrons think about it. So let's go. Um, I, I think it's, uh, it's positive. I, I think it shows that there's a lot of creativity uh, that is coming up and uh, I think it makes things more fun so people have, can have more you know, fun and engagement in the way they dress or you know, so yeah, so, that, so it's, really, it's really good. I have to admit that most of the things I buy usually were from abroad, but it's a nice uh, that uh, the, the quality of the, the, the uh, things that are coming up also from here now are starting to get to the level where they can compete interna internationally. So the more things like this uh, start happening, then I think the more, I mean, people who time, time tend to buy things from outside Rwanda will start buying things from Rwanda as well. Um, I really love it. Sometimes I think I spend a little bit too much money on um, clothes when I'm in Kigali. Um, just because I like it, one, because I like the fact that I'm supporting business here in Rwanda or elsewhere when I've traveled in Africa so that's one reason um, the second reason I have clothes when I go back to the United States that no one else has um, so that's the second part of why I really like it I love it and I wish there were more boutiques that had locally made clothes I really like African fabric things from abroad you can buy anywhere and you can buy secondhand but locally made things you can't find abroad so if I'm here I want to buy things from here with local designers on the rise, events like Kigali Fashion Week growing year by year, and pop-ups like these showing up in our hills, it's pretty undeniable. Interest in fashion is definitely growing here in Rwanda. We wouldn't be surprised if the country became a major player in the regional fashion industry in the years to come. Makeda Mahario, 
Rise and Shine Rwanda. Okay, you get all the cool things. That's not cool. Stop it. All right, so from what you saw there, because I'm seeing uh, people who were there from abroad as well, I mean, what, what draws them to African fabric? Um, I, I think that, honestly, it's just, it looks good. You know what I mean? The same thing that draws any of our eyes to any kind of specific kind of fabric or, you know, clothing or whatever it is. You know, African kitenge, it's different, it's, it's colorful, and um, it's quite strong. You know, it's not, it's not soft material, but it's strong. You can make I'm different... seeing it on shoes. I mean, I didn't yeah. even know that was possible. Yeah, exactly. You can make different things out of it. You can, you know, style it up any way you want to. And um, I think that's why it's becoming so big uh, internationally as well because if you were looking on a lot of runways last year it was in a lot of big big designers um, international designers uh, lines and things like that so um, I think that's one thing that draws them in but as they said you know they also like to um, uh, support local local businesses and, and local fashion and cultural things you know what I mean and it's kind of becoming uh, something that's part of our culture now here in Rwanda that we're, we're starting to you know find a lot more local designers and we're starting to get into regional fashion um, this is a, a, a company from Uganda but you know there were some things from Kenya there and from different countries and you know I think it's really cool it's just another way to, to help us get all integrated and you know share share what we what we like and you know what we're interested in I think it's really cool the lady was from the, the States the first right. lady and the second lady was from Kenya I think you know it's, I think it's really cool now how cool was it to talk to the lady Therese about how she, you know, she sews them and then the whole, the whole process, basically. You know what? I thought that was really interesting. Um, the fact that, you know, what she gets from, from working with, with Matthew um, from House of Tai or what she gets from doing events like that is seeing how other people use the material and they give it quality, they give it, you know, um, they do it with quality and they give it more value and, you know, they take pride in it. And she seems like she's picked up a lot of tips from that and she takes a lot of pride in it as well. You know, I asked her, how does she feel to be contributing to you know the Rwandan fashion industry and she said you know she loves doing events like that because you know it helps her it, it exposes her to different things which is really what will help everyone when you the more you're exposed to new things the more you learn new things it's, it's the better you know we all are as a society because of course our quality uh, raises right the quality of the work that we do so I thought that was really cool and she was making very interesting t-shirts you know you could buy a t-shirt that said House of Tayo or whatever on it and she would put like some kitenge around it or you can tell her the style that you want it was a really fun event and now I think things like that will bring more people into mm -hmm. to buying uh, mm -hmm. local the question I've been dying to ask you I mean you've hosted Kigali Fashion Week and you know uh, the likes I mean what do you see what has the growth been for Kigali uh, for Rwanda Rwanda's couture uh, in your eyes since you got here? I mean, it's not even really about uh, doing Kigali Fashion Week because so many people went and, and, you know, there's also designers from other places. But I see so many more designers since I've even been living in Rwanda, you know, right. since when I first came here. And even, sure, doing, doing different fashion shows. It's not just Kigali Fashion Week, but people have their own fashion shows. The quality is going up so much. The more people, you know, do different collections and things like that is the more that things become more interesting, um, stronger, and you know, it's more able to compete on an international stage, which is right. what we want, right? We want to have more exposure. And definitely, I mean, I see the fashion industry grow, growing at the speed of light. I think we're so focused on so many other industries here, but fashion is definitely getting up there, I'm telling you. And everyone likes to look good. Think about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. See, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I support, I support House of Tayo. I know you do. I, I used do. To, you know what? I used to wear a lot of House of Tayo on the show. I don't know why and I'm, I know, I'm still doing it. I'm, I'm, breaking, I'm breaking a suit. Pretty, pretty, pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, um, I know that you did also uh, a report on shopping in markets. So right. for me, it was really interesting to look at this event and look at shopping in markets because a lot of that stuff, um, from what I was hearing from you and um, seeing in the report, is that a lot of it is imported. A lot of it comes from abroad. abroad so yeah. I just can't wait for the moment when, because as of right now, I suppose you could say... Um, you know, locally made things can be a little bit more expensive because there's not that much of a market for right, it yet. Right. But I just can't wait for the moment when things that are made here, we can buy them and buy them cheaper than the stuff in the market. You right, know what right. I mean? Because we, I mean, we're here. It should be cheaper. It oh, makes no sense. Definitely, definitely. All right. Well, I like that. don't forget we love to hear your thoughts, comments, and feedback on what we're talking about here on Rise and Shine Ronda. Tweet us at Rise and Shine RW. We're always looking out for all your comments on Twitter. Like us on Facebook, Rise and Shine RW. 
comment, tag us in your photos. Check out our Rise and Shine Randa YouTube page where you can catch all the shows and reports that we upload daily for you. Find us on Instagram, Rise and Shine RW, we're always posting photos. Or check out our Rise and Shine Randa website. Well, that's all the time we have for today, but we'd love to hear your feedback on what you're thinking of the show. My name is Regis Isheja. You've been watching Rise and Shine Randa. And I'm Makeda Mahadia. We'll be back here same time, same place tomorrow. So please do come back and join us then. But for now, from the two of us and the rest of the beautiful Rise and Shine team, <laughs> have a great day. Bye-bye.